What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is uh, muskrat trapping season. Back at it again this year. Uh, pretty pumped up. I've had some real cold weather lately, so I'm hoping uh, hoping we don't get too much ice that uh, keeps me out of the water. But uh, I'm suited up for it today. I came and checked this pond last night. There were some muskrat sign, but I didn't see any great runs. I'd been in here years past. And there is one decent run on the other side of this pond, so I'm definitely going to throw a trap in that. Um, and and by last night, when I said I, I didn't see any good runs, I mean it wasn't any like fresh mud stirred up, but there's plenty of plenty of sign on the banks that muskrats have been in here chewing away at it. So I'm going to hit this spot. I'm going to get some traps in the ground, and then I'm going to head down the road, check a spot that I haven't been to in a year or two, but I caught some pretty big rats out of there before. So I'm going to hit those two spots today, and uh, depending on how much time I have and the rest of the day, I might go to one or two more spots, but I'm going to try and hammer it hard this week. I'm off for Thanksgiving break from school, so time to put some work in. Let's get some traps in the ground. So this spot right here definitely got some muskrat activity, and as you can see by the uh, bubbles out here, they're coming out and uh, feeding. They got some of this... Uh, this tree here chewed up a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get a trap right in there in that area where it cuts back in under this bank. Okay, so we got one trap in so far. Uh, not super confident about this one, but they're they're definitely moving around in here, so we're gonna get on them. So right there, if you can see that out in the water, I'm not sure if you can or not from the camera, but that hole has some mud in it, so there's definitely gonna be some rats coming in and out of that one. So I'm gonna get a trap set in that one, and then we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be good on that, so. Make another trap out here.
hole right in there. I'm gonna try and get my trap down in on the side of this here. Right down into the bottom. Get that buried in. All right, got that one set. I'm gonna make my way around this pond some more here. See how many more sets I can get in today. All right, guys. I know you can see this one on the camera here. Uh, I just stuck uh, some more traps out along the edge of that. I have, uh, I think three. Yeah, three in right now. I threw a coon cuff in over there too, just just because I'm out here, but uh, you can check out all the bubbles coming right out along this, heading out that way, heading out this way. But this is like the, uh, I'm guessing what would be the main hut for this pond, even though I'm standing up above it and it's not a hut, it's more of a bank den. But this is deep and it's kind of wide. So I'm gonna throw a 220 in this one instead of a 110, but I'm gonna get down in here and get that put in. And fingers crossed, I mean, if they come out of there, we're gonna have a muskrat in the morning tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready and get that one trap set up to get one in there. Throw my glove back on here. These uh, shoulder length gloves are a lifesaver for trapping. First year I did this, I, uh, first year I trapped, I was beaver trapping. I didn't have any gloves and it was just sticking your arms down in ice cold water. And that got old pretty quick. So I went and picked up a pair of these trapping gloves, and I love them. I'm gonna try not to make this too muddy coming in here if I can. Get some of this ice out here so I can step right there. I want to be able to see the hole and uh, get the trap down in there before I get it too muddied up. So I'm gonna stick it right in this top here. giving them any space to get around there and we'll fold these out just a touch so I can get the sticks in them pull this stick off the bank here stick that right in there to hold that in place see if I can get this one crossed over into this into this one That'll kind of deter them from uh, swimming through the top of that as well. They'll want to stay down toward the bottom uh, and head right through that trap instead of coming instead of coming up above it. With these sticks crossed over like that, might bend that one in a little more. All right, guys. That isn't going anywhere as long as they swim through that and they don't come up around it here. I know this is a, this is a pretty big run, but uh, I'm thinking we're going to have a rat here in the morning. Just with all these bubbles, you know, they're moving out around in here. So I'm going to keep working my way around this pond. I got one trap left in my bucket, but I could walk back to the car and get some more if I find some more good spots. All right, guys, I got six traps in at that first pond and I am down here at another spot where I've caught a few muskrats here and uh, one beaver out of this spot. I think that was two years ago maybe, but uh, yeah, it was. Last year I was down here, uh, the beaver were all trapped out and uh, I just didn't get down here too much last year. I didn't have as much time, but uh, I'm gonna go down, check this out. I'm mainly looking for muskrats, being that it's muskrat season this week, but I'm also gonna check and see if there's any beavers back in this spot, uh, cause that comes up here in about, I think about a month from right now, December 18th, 19th, somewhere around there is normally when beaver comes in, but uh, I'm gonna get out, 
check this out. It's it's pretty much just flooded land from uh, beavers damming up some water, a big section of timber that got flooded. So hopefully there's some muskrat sign down here and I can get a few traps in this spot too. But if not, check this spot off the list for uh, muskrat and beaver season. But let's get at it. All right, guys, I just walked around down in there in that uh, swamp land. Nothing impressive, so I didn't even bother taking any video of it. But uh, no muskrats in this spot anyway, so I'm heading back down the road. There were some, uh, a little bit of beaver sign in there. Uh, I saw a few trees they just had nibbled on. Not Nothing crazy. Um, the beaver hut's still there from a couple years ago, and there was some ice broken around the dam, and they had a little bit of fresh mud on it. But if I had to guess, maybe one, two beavers in there at the most, and probably, probably nothing big. So I might come back down here during beaver season for the trapping season for beavers, but um, as of right now, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'll check it out again closer toward beaver season, but I'm gonna head to some more property down the road here and uh, check for muskrat sign. I'm thinking about, I don't know if I'll do this today or tomorrow, but uh, plan on, I guess I just plan on filming this whole week for muskrat trapping, maybe upload a short little series on it. Um, showing you guys how to do that and catching them and cleaning them and fleshing them out and stuff but there's a property closer to my house that uh i've trapped for beaver a couple of years now and uh the biggest beaver I ever caught i caught out of one of those ponds it was 41 pounds and last year i was back in there ended up accidentally catching a river otter turned that into the game commission uh i'll throw a picture of that up for a second here but uh that was a an interesting experience to say the least but it's a bit of a hike back in it's like two and a half mile round trip uh, and it's pretty hilly so I don't know if I'll get in there today but I might get into that tomorrow and get back in there and see if I can get on any rats because I know there were rats in the ponds that are back in there and there's a creek that runs through it so on to the next one <laughs> It seems like uh, any more muskrats are getting a little bit harder to find. Uh, just talking with my dad about it, he said back when he used to trap, there were muskrats everywhere. And from everybody else that I've talked to about it that's a little older, they said kind of the same thing. But I'm not sure if they were over trapped or if uh, disease got to them or anything like that. But I'm going to keep at it and try and get some more. They've done all right in the past few years, but got to put the time in to get them got to put the miles on too that's for sure so off to the next spot here we'll see you there all right guys put my next spot here checking this out i was in here last year and saw some rat activity but i didn't have any luck catching any of them so back this year and i'm hoping i can get into them here i know up around up around the edge of this here Right on that point out there is where I was seeing them last year, but uh, I know they're definitely in here, so if I find some good sign, I'm going to get some traps set, see if I can make something happen. All right, got the first rat hole right there. You can see that mud spot out in the water. It means they're moving in and out of that. So, I need to get it in there and try not to muddy it up too much that I can't see see the hole once I get in there but I'm gonna get my pack off there was a spot there was a spot down there that looked pretty good too but it was really really wide and uh, I'll have to get some sticks in that one to kind of direct them in towards the trap but this one looks just wide enough to get a get a 110 put nicely in there so I'm gonna get a trap in this spot here and uh, move on
this up. This looks pretty muddy. I might need to move forward, drop up a little higher, a little higher on the stick here. But uh, some of the harder ground, when you're sticking your trap in, you can't get the stick in very far, so you got to leave it a little lower. But I'm thinking I'd be able to get this one in pretty deep. Fingers out of them, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, there we go. Get my little axe here, my hatchet. I'm going to try and come in from the side here as to not step on the run because I don't want the hole to collapse. I also don't want, I really don't want to make this all muddy. I don't know how, how thick this ice is. Uh, it's only about a quarter of an inch thick. So I don't think I'm going to be able to stand on it either. So I'll probably have to make a little bit of a mess here to get in. Yeah. Yeah, we're making a mess, all right. <laughs> Let's see this ice in here. Get some of that muddy water out away from this so I'm not, so I can still see it. I'll try and get in here. This ground's pretty darn soft. get in without making, stirring it up too bad, making too much of a mess. It's a little bit thicker, it's about an inch thick. It still wasn't going to hold me though, that's for sure. sink that trip right in there like so I'm trying to get some of this mud stirred away from it so you can see it but I don't know how well that's gonna work I'm pulling the mud off the bottom of that anyhow hopefully we'll have one in there in the morning Great, got another spot here, getting a trap loaded up, <clears throat> that's the proper term for it, <laughs> but uh, I'm on the other side of this now, I, uh, on the far side there I put one trap in so far, I'm going to stick another one in, in that first spot that I saw when I was coming in, and uh, this side is just full of briars and jagger bushes, it's kind of a pain to move around on, but got these waders so I should be able to go along the edge of this as long as it's not too deep with mud but um got another spot right here got some bubbles around it a fair amount of bubbles got the mud stirred up so it looks good looks like there's rats coming in and out of there 
So I'm going to get a trap in this spot here. If I can get in there without falling down and filling up my waders full of water, it almost happened over there. But uh, see how deep this baby is. Oh yeah, that's pretty thick mud. I also want to make sure I can get back out of this once I get into it. But uh, I think right in here, I probably ought to grab another stick and uh, just kind of see how see how deep that hole is down in there. at this right in here let's see how deep this mud is oh yeah that goes down there good See if I can get a little closer to this thing here without sinking into this stinking mud too bad. That goes way down there. Holy cow! Well, I'm gonna get this trap in here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a muskrat cruising through there. I'm going to put this on the other side of it here to kind of direct their, their travel. Hopefully we get something out of this one. I'm not super convinced. There is bubbles out through here, but it's on a great run, that's for sure. So, on to the next one. Alright guys, just hit that spot, found a few decent rat holes in there and put some traps on them. Nothing, nothing too crazy overall, but uh, I'm going to hit one more spot today before I go back home. It's not too far off the road at all, so uh, that won't be bad, won't take too much time, but I don't think I'm going to have time to go to any other spots today to scout or look and, look and see if there's anything there just because the other spots I have are... Uh, pretty far off the road like the one I'm I think I'm gonna go in tomorrow to the one where I was doing some beaver trapping the past couple years but it's about a little over a mile hike in and a mile hike out uphills both way if you know what I mean so I'll probably get into that tomorrow but today I'm gonna go look at one more spot tomorrow we'll get up check these traps that I put out today and uh, see what I got but uh, I'm kind of optimistic right now last year wasn't a too good of a year for trapping but uh this year's gonna be good i think and uh found some sign found rat runs so far and they're out there just gotta catch them 